Why is there continued fear of genetically modified foods? Technically speaking, everything we eat today has been genetically modified by human beings using artificial selection, hybridization, or exposure to radiation to cause mutations. But we only call it GMO when we mix DNA from other organisms. Three aspects to consider. Sustainability. How much water, land, fertilizer, and pesticides are required to grow a particular crop? GMO versions of crops regularly require less of all of these because they've been designed for it. With climate change, GMO crops may become essential. Health and nutrition. A 25-year study has found zero harmful effects of GMO foods on our bodies. Business models. Some business models prevent farmers from saving seeds and that goes against 10,000 years of how we have farmed. But it's complicated. BT cotton is a classic example. It was originally opposed for being exploitative, but eventually farmers embraced it. Because it was resistant to ballworm, required less pesticides and improved yields. And the government subsidized it. So GMO crops can be sustainable and do not pose any health risks. But some business models are unethical. Technologies are amoral. You can use a knife to hurt someone or cook food. The choice is ours.